Hello, I'm Maximo Trinidad, Technology Evangelist for Sapiens Technologies. In this short video, I'll be showing working with Windows Phone Controls Event Handlers in PowerShell Studio. I create a simple form containing three Windows Control, the text box, label, and the button. The text box control will be used to enter text. The label control will display the text box validation message. The button control will contain the code behind for the text box validation. Notice on the label control, I have already changed the label control text property from label 1 to display result here. I also changed the button control text default from button 1 to OK. To modify Windows control text property, first click to select the control. Then you can either right click then select properties which will take you to the properties panel or go straight to Properties panel, located on the bottom right side next to the Form Designer. The first time the form is created, in the script section of the form, you'll find a Form Load Event Script block. Here you can add code to be executed before the form is loaded. Notice I added the code to clear the label text value that was displayed while designing the form. To add the code to the bottom control, add the Form Designer just double click on the button control. This will take you to the script section of the button control event script block. I previously created a snippet file to save my code logic. Then from my snippet library I can add code into my button control event script block. To add the code from the snippet file I make sure the cursor is placed where the code is going to be added in the control event script block. Then by double clicking on the snippet file the code will be added. And now we can test the new form. Basically, the code will validate if the test box isn't blank. It will display red in the label control when it's blank or blue when a value has been entered. And we have a working form. Now let's see what happens when you delete a Windows Control event script block from the form. Let's delete the button event script block code, then execute the form without saving. A missing event handler message box will be displayed. There will be three available options, insert, remove, ignore. Make note, when selecting either remove or ignore, the control will remain in the form without the code. Choosing Insert will put back an empty event script block. To recover the control, just go back to the form designer and double click on the button control. This will put back the button event script block so you can add the code behind the control. After fixing the body control, we can execute the form again and everything is back to normal. Thank you for viewing our short instructional video. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Sapien Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.